Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Okay, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Nice. Uh, fine, thanks. Uh, voy a estar 10 minutitos con la cámara apagada, teacher. Bye. Mientras arreglo todo acá. <laughs> okay, perfect. Vamos a ver. Only seven, seven, seven today. Bueno. Eh, Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. David Alexander. Present teacher. Eh, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Teacher, voy a estar de adelante porque me duelen los ojos. Vaya, Carla. Tengo problemas con los ojos. Ya le revisaron, Carla. Sí, ahí no lo está el dos veces. ¿Y qué le dice? Que tenía que cambiar los lentes y probar si con los lentes se me mejoraba el problema, pero no sé, ya los cambié, pero apenas ayer. Bueno, es de adaptarse, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo tengo unos lentes por aquí. Pero ando ahora como que ando en la basura en un ojo y sí. me ha costado todo el día en pasar. Mire, yo los que me mandé a hacer. Ajá. Pero sigo con los viejitos. <risa> no, yo siento que tengo ojos nuevos, pero sí me. Sí. me no sé qué sí. me ha pasado ahora, como que tengo una basura en el ojo y no soporto el ojo. Sí, ahorita sí es cuestión de irse adaptando también. No, es uh -huh. que esto se ve como que yo estoy dando la clase con lentes de sol. Sí, <risa> así se ven los míos y, la, y el antirreflejante se ve bien azul. Exacto. Entonces, por eso, ¿verdad? Se supone que son para protegerme un poquito más, pero como que estoy con lentes de sol dando la clase, entonces no me gusta. Bueno, pero es para protegerse los ojos. Sí, 
Y eso sí. Pero como en esta, en la compu se valen estos otros. Lice Dayanara. No, ya. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Present teacher. Hey. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Present teacher. ¿Quién dijo present? Rebeca, creo que me acaba de mencionar. Antes que Rebeca. A Rosa. Da. Rosa Hilda también present teacher. Sí. Víctor Manuel. Víctor Manuel. No, ya. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie, Adriana Marcela, José Alfredo. Vale, voy a repetir los que no estaban. Eh, Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. Diego. Elmer Fabricio. Eh, Jessica, dice Dayanara, Víctor, Karen Stephanie, Adriana Marcela, José Alfredo. Presente. Bueno. Ok, Ivonne. Vaya. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share the screen. The last class before vacation. I hope you enjoyed your vacation. And you have fun, right? Okay, July 29th. Today uh, we have the video conference number five and that's the unit review and the practice of mm -hmm. structure of all the unit number one, right? That means we are going to be talking about a present perfect, reduced adverb clauses, And we will also be uh, finishing, right? We're going to finish what you started yesterday that we were talking about the short analysis, right? Any question over there? Yes, no. No teacher? No, but, but. Okay, remember we were saying that based on the product right, that you were thinking about uh, on class number three. Remember that day you decided on a new product. No, it was, yeah, class three, class two, right, that you decided a new product or service that your company might launch to the market. Uh, you will brainstorm, sorry, brainstorm useful uh, questions to get information related to each of the stages of the SWOT analysis. Remember we said a SWOT analysis. What is the S for? What does the S stand for? Strength. W. Weakness. Weaknesses. O. Opportunities. Opportunities. Opportunities and threats. 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 Okay. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Okay. Well, what you're going to do right now is brainstorm. I know you started yesterday, but you told me you hadn't finished yet. 
So you're going to continue brainstorming useful questions to get information related to each of this, uh, to the, to the SWOT, right? You will uh, run the SWOT analysis based on the product that you're talking about. And then based on that analysis, you're going to discuss if the idea for the new product or service has potential to move to the, new, to the next step. Do you remember which is the next step in the development cycle? After brainstorming, you have, you have the idea generation, you have the screening, you know what product you're going to do. You have, you have the clear idea of what service you want to offer. What is next? So, so hmm? uh, I remember was the sourcing. What is sourcing? Uh, is to looking for the um, supply chains, uh, Possible clients. Um, mm -hmm. What else? But remember that before, before, before you do that, you need to have the sketch, right? The sketch of your product. You need to have a very clear idea because you already tested the market. You already know if the people will be a, a will want to buy your product, right? And then uh, you go to, to, to create the product, but you're not going to waste your time creating a product that has more uh, weaknesses and threats than opportunities and strengths, right? And you can get that based on what people uh, think about the product that you're going to create. Okay. I'm going to send you to the same uh, groups where you were working yesterday. So you're making this strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats about your product. Uh, let me see if all the groups are complete. Oh yeah, I guess so. Okay. Hmm. Vamos a ver. Rosy, you were with Uh, Grace Michelle and Karen Stephanie. Oh, Karen Stephanie is not here yet. Okay. Okay. Uh, Jose Alfredo, who were your partners? It was Jose Alfredo, Jose Alberto, and? Ah, uh, era una chica, pero no recuerdo quién. Hmm. Ya vamos a ver quién era. Uh, room number three, Nubia. Who were your partners, Nubia? Recuerden que les dije que con estas personas van a trabajar el resto del curso para este proyecto, right? Porque si no, no nos sale estar cambiando de producto cada vez con cada cosa que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces tienen que guardar la misma idea de negocio que escribieron el día 3. Es la misma en la que hacemos el SWOT Analysis. Y la misma con la que vamos a seguir el resto del curso trabajando cada una de las partes que corresponde, ¿verdad? En el development project. A ver, eh, Nubia. Nubia, no mic microphone. Víctor. Lice uh, Dayanara. Uh, Rebeca. Lice Dayanara. No, here. Rebeca, sí. Ok. Bye. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver, Adriana, Sofía. Con Adriana, Marcela y Ana. Ok. ¿Cuál Ana? 
creo que ya no iba a estar. Ah, es Ana Alicia. Ana Alicia. Sí. sí. Ok. Vaya Marcela, nos, Adriana Marcela no está todavía aquí. Vamos a ver, David. Hola, teacher. ¿Con quién trabajó en la Idea Generation? No fue la clase de ayer, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? No, no, en la clase 3. Quiero ver, no me acuerdo. Le soy bien sincero, que no me acuerdo. ¿Alguien Quiero recuerda ver. haber trabajado con David? Vamos Quiero a ver. buscar en mis anotes. Edwin estuvo con Carla, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Con quién más, Carlita? Con mí. Ah, Karen Janet. Bien. Yeah. Eso. Vaya, ¿y Elda Cristina con quién estuvo? Con Ivonne Marcela, creo. Con Ivonne Marcela. ¿Y quién más? Eh, solo nosotros dos. Ok. Vamos a ver, Elda, Cristina e Ivonne. Yo iba con ellas también. Jennifer. Con Ivonne. Sí. Eso. Ah, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya. Muy bien. Y Gracias. de, vaya, me quedan Ana Grisel, Elmer y... Sure. Elmer, ¿con quién Bye. iba? Good Tell me, Elmer, I can hear you. Sí, pero ¿con quién trabajó en esa actividad, Elmer? Elmer trabajó eh, con ayer, nosotros, teacher. No, teacher. ¿En cuál actividad? Me voy comentando, perdón. Vamos. Teacher. Hola. Ayer eh, fue que agregó a nuestro grupo con José Alberto a una chica, pero el la clase anterior a esa, Elmer trabajó con nosotros, eh, íbamos José Alberto y Elmer. Ah, vaya, vaya. El martes. Ajá. Correcto. Va, perfecto. Entonces. Porque ayer no estuve, ayer no estuve en la clase. Dice. Vaya, ayer empezaron a, a, a trabajar lo que van a terminar hoy, Elmer, porque no alcanzaron a terminar, no, no les alcanzó el tiempo. Entonces hoy van a terminar y me van a compartir. Vaya, voy a abrir entonces y ya vamos a ver eh, los que me faltan, a dónde los ubico. Try to join. Vamos a ver. Vaya Elmer al 2. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, hello. Present teacher. ¿Usted con quién iba? ¿Se acuerda? Sinceramente no recuerdo, teacher. Ouch. Ok, no va a andar rebotando de proyecto en proyecto. A mí me puede mandar con Raúl si gusta, teacher. Creo que con ella estoy, no me acuerdo, de verdad. Ah, va. Vamos a ver cuánta gente tiene Rosy. Porque tengo a, Carl, a Karen Janet solita. Edwin no se ha logrado unir al grupo. Ah, Rosy está con Grace, pero Grace no está. Vaya, la, lo voy a mandar con Rosy. Y Ana, okay. Gris, Ana Grisel, la voy a mandar a la sala 5, oye, con Karen Janet. Vaya, está bien, teacher. Ojalá que ese sea donde estaba. <ríe> Bye. Si no, ahí se adapta, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 sí. Bye. Vaya, try to join, please. Try to join. Check if you get the, the call to the, to the new group. Accept the call. Teacher, puede asignarme otra vez que me sacó Zoom. Ay, este es un loco. De igual, de igual a mí. Bye. Hoy, ¿quién está allá? Hoy, un teléfono, pero no es el mío, ¿verdad? No. Ah, no, si el mío ni siquiera suena. <ríe> Vaya, ah, aquí está José Alfredo, al 2. Y Ana, Ana Grisel, ¿verdad? Vaya, mire, Ana, la voy a mover a otro grupo para después devolverla al 5, oye, porque si no, no me... Vaya, está bien. Bye. No le haga caso a este ahorita, la voy a mandar al 5. Va, 
Mire si le aparece la llamada al 5. Cheque si le aparece. Ya me aparece a mí como que ya la mandé para allá. Sí, 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 ya. Ah, va, excelente. ¿Y Rebeca? Edwin está de oyente. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, hello. Hola. Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, ¿está aquí o no está presente, Edwin? Si no, saco a Karen de ella porque está solita. Rebeca. Rebeca, Rebeca, try to join. Hola. Teacher, ¿y puedo usar de oyente ahora? Es que sí. No, voy de camino Vaya. todavía. Pero por favor, métase al grupo. Ah, ok. Pero no me sale aquí. Quiero ver. ¿En qué grupo me meto, teacher? Es el 3. Al 3 la había mandado. Sí, chicos. Ok. Ah, okay. Sí, les he dejado que también. se puedan unir solitos. Vean si les aparece. Ya sí, dicho. Va, perfecto. Este, Ana Grisel. Mire si le aparece por ahí, porque les di, hoy le di la opción de que se unieran solitos. Los mandé, ¿verdad? Pero, pero a ver si les aparece por ahí la opción de unirse solitos. Se puede unir al, al CICO. Ah, es la sala de grupo reducido, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Sí, sí, sí me aparece. Vaya, una hacia el 5, entonces. Gracias. Bueno. Edwin, Edwin, hello. Edwin, 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 no está Edwin. Ah, ahorita. Ahorita new estoy idea. revisándolo. New ideas, please. Okay. The problem is the analysis. In this moment. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Not so so. So so loose. This is perdido in the class. So so and loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 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 Vaya, qué bueno. No encuentro a Edwin acá en el WhatsApp Group. Edwin Muñoz. ¿Mm? No, sé qué, no sé qué apellido es Edwin. Pero es el compañero de Carla. ¿Sí? Sí, creo que Edwin Muñoz es. Pero no está en el grupo de WhatsApp. No, no se ve. ¿Cómo no? Teacher. Hola. Este no me mandó al grupo con Edwin y con Carla. Pues es que no se unieron y yo buscando a Edwin estoy aquí para decirle que es tu grupo está esperando. Ah, pues están ocupados entonces. Bueno, Carlita dijo que no va a estar de oyente. Pero no me dijo nada y no hicieron por unirse. Híjole. Si no la mando a otro. Aquí está Ana. Ana, Ana. Hola. Hola, Ana. Usted se acuerda. Deja ver en qué grupo estaba ella. No se acuerda. Aquí sí, no, sí. <ríe> Aquí que trabaje con usted porque no se acuerda, dice Ana. Sí, y Edwin no, no hizo por unirse. Sí, el problema es de que como... ¿Y usted? Pues sí, yo te... 
no tomo nota, Karen. Hoy tienen que ir tomando nota todos, porque si de repente falta el que tenía la nota, ahí se les pierde todo el resto del trabajo del día. Uh -huh. Es que como lo está llevando él en Word, está este... Ajá, pero tienen que irse compartiendo porque mi hoy no, no, no se unió Edwin y, y no me responde. Yo lo estoy llamando y me responde. Ah, va a estar ocupado. Pero no me dijo nada. Y yo por eso siempre les digo que me avisen porque si no pueden... O sea, yo ubico a los que sí están pendientes en otro equipo, pues, para que no estén ahí solos. Uh -huh. Pero no me dijo nada. Quiero revisar, pero si tomé captura algo. Déjeme ver. Sí, porque no, no, no me responde. Ya lo llamé, lo mandé para otro grupo, lo regresé y no, no, no se une. I am here, Excellent, Carla. Estoy llamando a Edwin, pero no, no se une al grupo. Ya le, escribí, ya le escribí al WhatsApp, pero tampoco no, no, no está pendiente ahorita. Y me dice Carl, Karen que él tiene las notas de lo que han estado trabajando. Sí, ya le escribo que se une. ¿Puedo activar? Eh, le que tengo nos queda esta media, no está lo de ayer trabajado. Ah, perfecto, de ahí pueden partir, Karen. Uh -huh. Ya le voy a escribir que se okay. Ella regresé. No me veía. Está. En de, ¿Cómo sería la otra? De, de... Remember that you have to do a, this exercise based on the product that you chose uh, on day number three, right? Right. Sería algo así como increasing cost to the payment of taxes on court. Increasing costs due to the payment of export taxes. ¿Cómo, cómo? Sería increase in cost due to the payment of export taxes. Of the payment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
And you have order. You have order. Come on. <clears throat> Pardon. Pardon. Mm -hmm. Do you have other treats? Mm. Al ser un producto nuevo. Ahí, donde dice vocabulary. Map of the book. Product development, product testing, product line, product risk. Okay. Veamos. At the next, I think that product testing. Product testing, no. No. I think it's not. Um, let me check, okay. We have the strength, we have the weaknesses, um, we have opportunities and treats. Uh, we have to check or we have to evaluate if the product idea going going to be um a new a new step or the follow step. Has potential to move the next step in the product development cycle. Uh, it could be what what is after uh, ideas screening? No beer. Hi. Hey. What continue what? after ideas screening? What is a uh, uh, feasibility of the new product? Possibility. Teacher, yes, we are working the homework in one point five. Hmm. We have a question because we are discussing that one of the homework it, it doesn't work. Hmm. No salimos del tema. <risa> Con una consulta como... Eh, justo tenemos una tarea de todas las que tenemos que hacer. Ajá. Que ninguna de las dos eh, nos envían. Mm. O sea, es esta 1.5. O sea, llenamos todas las respuestas y se le da a enviar. Y todas salen en cero. O sea, dice que todas están equivocadas. O sea, sí tiene que ser. Déjenme revisar. O no sabemos si es porque son tan iguales, teacher. Todas es la 1.1, 1.3, pero voy a hacer el enseño. 1.5. Es esta, mira, la 1.5. 1.5. Uh -huh. Va, espérenme, quiero ir a ver. En el, en el. ¿Qué? Pues nosotros a ver la clase, y, o sea, a ver el, la regla. Uh -huh. Para poder sí. contestar.
1.5. Hoy están atrasadas, chicas. Hoy tienen que estar en la 1.9. No, es... Sí. Es que esa, ese nos ha quedado ahí como... No, sí, si ya las hice todas, dicho. Solo ah. esta es la que me falta. Ah, bueno, bueno. Vamos a ver. ¿Y por qué le pusieron una de cos y no también de cos, no todo lo time? Vamos a ver. ¿Saben qué? Tienen que escribir toda la oración, no solo la primera parte. No, aún así no sale. Sí. Yo, le, yo sí le escribí toda y no me salió. Y, le, y después escribí la mitad y tampoco me salió. Vaya. Eh, check, um, Adriana. Are you using capital letter at the beginning? Are you using the whole sentence, the complete sentence? Are you putting period at the end of the sentence? Se tiene que estar igual. No, because you have to reduce it, but you have to, put, uh -huh. but you have to use all the punctuation correct. If no, it, it will say no. So that means using capital letter at the beginning. Uh -huh. See, you have to use capital letter at the beginning and you have to use period at the end. If no, the sentence will not correct. It won't be, it won't be accepted. Quizás el punto fue el que me faltó. Sí. Yeah, you have to use period at the end. Ah, sí, el punto era. Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí, no period, no, uh -huh. correct, sí. no correct sentence, right? Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok. No, no tenía abierto el documento. Aquí está. Sí, con Teacher, usted no sabe de eso. Sabe que nos pidieron ahora. Antes sí. de salir de vacaciones. Ajá. Se imagina. Horarios, jornalizaciones. Eh, casa, la primera reunión preparada. Nos sacaron el jugo. Wow, para el otro periodo. Porque empezamos clase en, en, en la primera semana de agosto. Y es supuestamente ha sido semana de capacitaciones. Y ahora antes del mediodía nos dijeron que querían jornalizaciones. Siento el cerebro escurrido. Oh, padre. Dios guarde, eso lleva tiempo. Ay, no. Qué yo sentía que me jalaba el pelo, pero mejor <ríe> trabajé y no dije nada. Sí, pues sí. Bueno, así ya se va la vacación sin pensar en colegio. Uh -huh. 
va a compartir usted, Adri, Ana, Sofía. Eso intentaba, pero no puedo. No me sale la opción para compartir. Creo que porque, porque se está grabando. ¿Ah? No, no sé, pero no me sale la opción. No, pero, y sí me salía. Pero no tiene nada que ver. Cheque si su compañerita sigue eh, compartiendo. No, ya no estoy compartiendo. Ay, ahí vive, que está abajo. Estaba buscando el barrio. Bueno, <risa> es que estoy en otra compu. Oh. Y como que tiene el regresada la aplicación, no sé. Ok. We are this, we were discussing mm -hmm. the opportunities uh, of our project. And then, uh, this is a new service, and this is, how do you say, desconocido? Unknown. 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 So, unknown. this is an unknown Own. service. Unknown. Unknown mm -hmm. service. So that could be a strange, a strange, no. In English, in English, hello. <laughs> hmm. Es que la idea es si lo traducimos. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, Edwin, where were you? I have a call my boss. Ay, este boss. Estoy en clase. De... <laughs> ¿Qué boss? Estoy en clase. I'm not here. I'm in class. I'm... Y él sabe porque él, él la prueba que nosotros estamos. <laughs> Ay, no. For quality work delivery. La amenaza. The high cost, says Anna. Opportunities, teacher. We put low competition. It can be extended from national to regional level. It can be applied in different areas. The product is drawing of plant online service. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another treat. Maybe it could be high cost the delivery. El wing in the the payment will be by transfer. No. The, the work is in online transfer. Ooh. In life, uh -huh. in. sería, Ay, pero eso sería, pero... Ay, está, ¿cómo lo pongo? 
No, no sé. Como que la transacción financiera, no sé. Ajá, pero... Porque ajá, ese sería solo un, como un método nada más de pago. Ah, tener una sola forma de pago. Podría ser una amenaza. Ah, ok. Eh, bueno, Marce me dice que, que también puede ser como... Bueno, otra debilidad sería tener como una como una limitación a, a dar nuestro servicio, como uh -huh. solo, solo tenerlo, digamos, solo lo tenemos en el área de San Salvador, digamos, y aledaños. Entonces, eso sería como por logística, que eh, obviamente la gente prefiere comprar cerca de ellos, uh -huh. y al no tener nosotros como, digamos, más sucursales y, y, y como más accesibilidad, los clientes obviamente prefieren buscar otro lugar donde obtener el servicio. Aunque tal vez no sea tan bueno, pero por el hecho de evitarse... Gastos, a ver, hasta ¿no? Acá. Uh -huh. Algo, no sé, entonces sería como... Eh, quiero ver. A branch. A branch. A branch. Eh, A branches es, es una rama. Ah, ok. Ay, pero no sé cómo, no sé cómo usarlo. Ya en la frase completa. Sería como, es la, nuestra debilidad es, en sí, no tener, no, eh, no abarcar. Enough market. O enough area. Not, co Ajá. not covering enough area. Eso, cabal. Okay. Not covering no era. Era. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Bueno, creo yo que por ahí uh -huh. ya no salen más ideas. <ríe> Ay, no, tenemos, tenemos streets también, amenazas, causing damage to the machine. Self machine supplies in the warehouse. Um, otra amenaza. A threat. Uh, maybe innovation of the other companies. Yeah. Ah, es cierto. Marce, Marce me dice también que, uh -huh. que puede ser como otra de las amenazas puede ser eh, por ejemplo volver a a, a tener, digamos, alguna otra pandemia, eh, que nos vuelvan a cerrar, que volvamos a, a, que nunca, a parar labores. Que nunca termina. Ay, <risa> sí, o sea, es la cabala de nunca terminar, o sea, esta, esta podría ser una, una amenaza. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí, la, eso, esa es la idea que, que da Marce ahorita. Another pandemic. Here. Um, oh, extension of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Sí, ajá. O, o just have another pandemic. Creo que, que se puede poner también. Okay. ¿Cómo sería más correcto? Ajá. Uh -huh.
Eso sí es sí, una fuerte amenaza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because that stops everything. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Creo que nos quedó como balanceado. Ya. Uh -huh. Ya no surten más ideas. <ríe> uh -huh. Are you done? Right. Mm, we guess or you need yes. to revise something um, quizás solo le vamos a dar otra repasada y ya quizás uno que dos minutos más y ya ok perfecto minutes more man I guess now you're more than ready to share, right? Yes. And let's wait for everybody to come. Come, oh, eight seconds. Nice, nice. Okay, Bacha. Uh, I'm going to call attendance right now, and then we will listen to you. Let's see, Adriana, Sofia. Adriana Sufi. Present. Present. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin. Present. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer Fabricio. Peter. Present. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. Jessica. José Alberto. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisset Dayanara. Lisset Dayanara. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Carlos. 
Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen, Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Nice. Nice, nice. Bueno. Hoy teacher. ¿Mm? Rebeca eh, dijo que iba manejando. Ah. Eh, por, es, por eso nada más estaba como oyente por el momento. Ah, va. Perfecto. Thank you, Nubia. Vaya. Let's see who will be my first volunteer to chair. Quiero ver room number one, David, Grace, and Rosalinda. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Our products is uh, vitamin only one kit. Uh, strength affordable price product can be consumed by people of different age no side effect health reviews and anxiety 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 i see teacher anxiety and weakness excess of omega 3 can cause muscle weakness Formula in development, import of the raw material is specialized. Opportunity, over the counter product does not need a prescription. Uh -huh. Product with multiple benefits. Product with high quality standard. Consumption of an indefinite period. And threats, ever threats. Many competitive Products are eating superly, super, super, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa teacher? Superly. And few vendors supplying probiotic crisis in, and crisis in international trade. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. That's vitamins, right? That's your product, vitamins. Very good. Thank you, Rosie. Okay, room number two, Elmer, Fabricio, José Alfre Alberto y José Alfredo. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. I... can try to share... No me permite. No lo deja hasta... A ver si puedo. Y me dicen si se ve. Yes. Si ¿Sí se ve. Yeah. Ok. Um, our product it's a anti insect pain. <coughs> Mm -hmm. And the strengths are, uh, it's an exclusive product. It's innovative, mm -hmm. no competition product. And <laughs> the weaknesses are, is manufactured outside the country. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. We need a long time to order in manufacture. The opportunities are a long target market. Mm -hmm. No competition in market. And it is an easy product to use. The threats are the copy of the idea for the competition mm -hmm. and increase in cost to, <laughs> to the payment of the 
import taxes. <coughs> That's it. Okay, thank you very much. Definitely the taxes uh, make the product get more expensive, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good, thank you. Let's see room number three, Nubia and Victor. Who will share, Nubia? Uh, Victor. <coughs> Uy, qué barbaridad. Okay. <coughs> Estuvimos gritando mucho hoy en los intramuros. <laughs> That's the result. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Victor. Victor. <coughs> Victor, Victor. Victor. Perdió Nubia. Vaya, vamos a oír al room number four while Victor comes back. Adriana, Sofía, and Ana, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Right. I can, I couldn't edit the document, so I take notes. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Our idea was the inclusive summer camp. Mm -hmm. So the strength, strengths are the innovative service and inclusive methodology and acknowledge staff. Our weaknesses are background about the service. Okay. Limited infrastructure mm -hmm. and lack of technology resources. The opportunities are unknown service to explore to exploit each and a parent desire to encourage empathy in their children oh. and the threats. Uh, we think one of the threats are is pre prejudice, prejudice. It what is? do you say? Prejuicios. Prejuicio. The pre prejudice. Prejudice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prejudice. Uh -huh. Okay. What is your product, uh, Adriana? It's a service. It's an inclusive summer camp for kids. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Victor is here. Very good. I don't know if, Adri if Adriana will add something or, or you finished. We're finished. Okay, perfect. Uh, Victor. Thank you. Thank you, chicas. Victor, Victor. I'm here. Great. <laughs> Se nos había jugado, Victor. Vaya, Victor, go ahead. Okay. I am cheering. Can you see that my screen? Yes. Okay, our product is about um, a line of clauses 
a specific sport classes. Uh, our strength in the sort analysis are uh, qualified personal, uh, supply chain establishment, uh, and equipment available. The weakness uh, are lack of, pro of productivity, lack of raw materials, and the opportunities um, are work up is closing. Uh, the company has the capacity to export and the high demand. Demand. High demand. Okay, okay. perfect. And the treats are high cost. Uh, other factories making the same and machinery, machinery damage. Machinery. Machinery damage. Okay. okay, very good. Uh, as a result, we can attack the weakness with opportunities and the treat with our strengths. Uh, the next the step strength. to the, the strength. Strength. Okay. Yeah. The next step to into the uh, development cycle uh, will be uh, the prototype of the product. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to room number five, Ana Grisel, Edwin, Karen, and Carla. Who will present? Share the, my screen. We've seen the product is drawing on plans online service. The strength is capital to invest, to have a, the equipment with advanced technology and capability, the software or program, personal trainer for the job and with experience, the connectivity to internet, constant and a big capacity. The weaknesses uh, we seen a uh, focus on a small market, poor internet connection, in low staff and equipment. Okay, what is your product or service? It's a service, a drawing of plans, online service. Okay, very good. Thank you. Edwin, are you missing information, Edwin? Uh, the opportunities and risks. Okay, go ahead. Opportunities, <clears throat> uh, low competition. It can be extended from national to regional level. It can be applied in different areas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not delivering work on time. Competition delivers it in less time and at low cost. And not having a good antivirus, poor quality work delivery, high cost of delivery, and have no other payment options, only online. Okay. No other payment options, just online. Is that safe? Is that Hola. safe? That safe getting the payment online? No, right? That's why I, that's why you put it as a threat. Okay, thank you. And we go for the last group. Elda, Cristina, Yvonne, and Jennifer, who will chair? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Our service is a new tire assembly. Uh, the strengths are, we have the spare parts needed in stock to repair the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, better prices in the market, excellent quality service, 
an excellent post sales service. The witnesses, we still don't have person to handle the assembly machine. Uh, but lead times do the lack of the training staff and not cover enough area. Okay, so the you opportunities. Need, mm -hmm. You need more to expand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Opportunities uh, more than. Uh, 50 clients who need this, this service, no in the job market, a nationwide service expansion, and get a theft insurance for the Thai assembly and supplies. And finally, the threat, uh, causing damage to the assembly machine due to the lack of experience. Dev uh, on machines and supplies in the warehouse, innovation of the other companies, and having another pandemic. Yeah. That would be really, really bad, right? Yes. That would be really bad. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, I'm going to start sharing again. Great. In our review today, uh, remember this is the review, right? So we have a present perfect. How, how do we use the present perfect? Who can tell me? How do we use the present perfect? Anybody? Say so has not been to mm -hmm, Exactly. So you have to use have or has and the verb in what form? What is the form of the verb? Past participle, past participle, exactly. You have to use the verb in past participle. Now, look at this. We have a couple of sentences. What we are going to do is complete this sentence using the best option, right? Look at sentence number one. Has. Lindsay? Has. Has. Okay, let's get the pen. So, Lindsay has not been to France. Nice. What about number two? Have. Have. Have you finished your homework? Very good. Number three? They've come to a rock concert. Dave. With the abbreviation, right? They've gone to rock concert. Have you gone to a rock concert? Have you gone to a rock concert? No, yes, maybe, who knows? Maybe someday. Huh? Have you gone to a rock concert? No, I haven't. No, I haven't have been in a, concert, in a rock concert. You have never been to a rock concert. Okay. Me neither. <clears throat> uh -huh. Number four. Have, have you, you been to, have you Japan? to Japan? Have you been to Japan? Have you been to Japan? No, I never have been in Japan. You have never been to. You've been to. Right? You say, I have never been to Japan. Okay. And number five, which is the best option? We have never eaten Mexican food. Never eaten. Yes, we have never eaten Mexican food. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? 
Yes, I have. Many times, right? We have been, we have eaten tortas, tacos, burritos, right? Okay. Number six, Andrea has. What's the best option there? Andrea has. Forgotten. 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 Yeah, forgotten. Andrea has forgotten her umbrella. Okay. What about number seven? Mm -hmm. Has the sun come up? Has. 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 Has the sun come up? Come up? In number eight? The children have found the lost puppy. The children have found the lost puppy. There we go. What have they found? The lost puppy. Lost they puppy. have found the lost puppy. Okay. Now look at this one. Maria has been a vegetarian. For three years. For three years. Exactly. We mentioned, a couple, well, I guess it was last month. That when we use when we're talking about a period of time, we use four, right? Maria has been a vegetarian for three years. What about number 10? I haven't worked since last December. Uh-huh. I haven't worked. Remember the pronunciation? Worked. I haven't worked. I haven't worked since last December. Have you worked since last December? Yes, I have been working since last December. Yeah, we have been working since last December. Okay, A any, any question here about the present perfect? <clears throat> no questions? No. No teacher. No teacher. But, um, uh, I'm going to send you a document. Okay, I'm going to send you a, a document right now. We are going to work only the first part. That is, ouch. Right, there you go. It is a document that contains the exercises you're going to work right now related to a present perfect and the ones we will work later related to reduce clauses. Okay. Uh, we will go to the rooms right now. Check the check the chat. I put the review unit one. Uh, you will go to the rooms that check. First exercise we are going to do is only present perfect. Later on, we will come back to check your answers and to check re reduce clauses, and I will send you to the rooms again. Okay, vamos a ver. I'm going to send you, in this case, you can go to different groups, right? Your 19. Perfect. Vaya. There we go. Join the rooms, please. Open the document that is in the chat. It is a Word document. And go over exercises related to present perfect. Try to join. Try to join, try to join. Hola, hola. Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. How are you doing? 
Ay, este, pueden compartir este Word o algo. Creo que yo puedo. Yo no tengo Word. Eh, en el que se usa el verbo en. Try to use English, please. Try to use English the most possible, chicos. Uh, we have to use the verb in present perfect. I think uh, is they have created. The letter A. Es que I'm not sure because uh, AD is for past. What uh, is the little C? It's the same that the per create is the same in, in present perfect, I think. Okay. We choose little, little A. Letter A. Mm -hmm. Give me, give me a, a one minute. Remember the structure, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, okay. What is the structure that you have to use? The subject. And then, ¿cómo se dice más? Plus. ¿Cómo? Plus. Plus. La, las. Eh, had ma, las participles. Ajá. Eh, eh, de. Más... Participle es el verbo, Karen. Ajá. Eh, más de res. Ajá. That's the verb in past participle. Mm -hmm. So remember, you need a subject, you need a verb, in eh, el, el auxiliary have un has, and the verb in past participle, right? Okay. Number two, uh, nobody has a little C, logic, um, little B. The, the B. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three, you are my chocolate. You have eaten. Have eaten. You have eaten chocolate. Yes. Okay, number four. Sell or sold? Sold. 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 Okay. Have they, no, they have sold a lot of books. Mm -hmm. Okay. No se vayan a ese. Ah, okay. Yet. Okay. Finished. Did you finish? Pero marquen las respuestas. Ah, las pusimos. Este, la puso arriba, teacher. Ah, ok. Ya no, Miki. <risa> <risa> ya no, Miki. Y los lentes, pues, teacher. 
Controlador. <risos> Vai, ah, pois, if you finish, vámonos. Ok. Let's okay. go. Let's go, let's go. Uy, solo... Ah, Adriana, creo que lo aleja para poder tomarle captura. One minute okay. for everybody to come back. Podría alejarlo para tomar. Coming, coming. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How did you do? Fine. Fine, fine. Yes. No, no fine. Why not? For my eyes. Oh, oh, okay. See, sí, definitely. Ya va a estar bien. Descanse los ojitos en la vacación. We don't have vacation. But from class, yes. Yes. Ah, ya es algo. <laughs> Definitely. Vaya. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share the document here. Ay, sí, no, pues uno de ustedes comparta. Vamos, Rosy. Go ahead. Share and help us with sentence number one, Rosy. Number one is, uh, one moment, teacher. Great. Great. But read the, the complete sentence. Teacher no está compartiendo. Usted le dije que comparta. Teacher, no tengo word. A ver, a ver, ahí está, muy bien. Ajá, what's number one? They It's... have created a great way es, es que así para darles oportunidad a ustedes, no solo la teacher, vea que solo la teacher, solo ella, no, hagamos otras cosas más, así comparten ustedes. Vamos a ver. Eh, they have created, created a great way They have created what? Díganme la oración completa. A great web page. Oh, very good. They have created a great web page. What about number two? Nobody, Nobody has. Mm -hmm. Nobody has. Logged on. Logged. Uh -huh. Nobody has logged on to my web page yet. Uh -huh. Number three. You, you, you have eaten all my chocolate. Mm -hmm. You have eaten all my chocolate. Very good. Number four. Have you written your essay yet? Uh -huh. Have you written? Have you written? You, mm -hmm. Have you written your S I don't know how pronunciation is said. Yes. Have you written your essay yet? Um, so number five. Who? 
Ah, yes, who have. have taken who have my books. Taken my books. Who have or who has? Has. Has. Wow. ¿Por qué has? Because it's at the third person. Who? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué exactly? Who is their person? That's why we have to say who has and no who have, right? What about uh, number six? Number six. Ahí, ahí. My cousins. Has. Said. How many cousins? How more many than one. more than one, right? So it's plural. My cousins have have. Uh -huh. No puede ser has because it's plural. My cousins have chatted. chatted. Very good. My cousins have chatted on the internet. Very good. Number seven, my friends. My friends haven't made any money. Mm -hmm. My friends haven't made any more any money. Money, right? My friends haven't made any money yet. Push it. Um, hmm. No, number eight. Have you ever? Uh -huh. Have you ever? Messages. Messaged any. Have you ever messaged? Have you ever messaged anyone? anyone? Yes or no? Yes, I have. Yes, yes. Every day, right? Hey. <laughs> Every day we message lots of people. Okay, number nine. Have you ever? Have, have you, you ever download, downloaded have you music? Have you ever downloaded music? Mm? Yes. Yes. Or oh, no, because it's illegal. Yes, I have been downloading music. Okay. And the last one, they... Have sold. Have sold. They have sold lots of books or a lot of books, very good. Questions? No yeah, questions. Oh, yes. Teacher, who in number five, who is? Who has? Okay. Who, has who has taken my books? Mm -hmm. In the second part, the number eight. A ver, bajemos a la number eight. Have you ever messaged? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you uh, there about experience, David. Alguna okay. vez. Uh -huh. okay. Alguna vez en su vida. That's why we say, yeah, woo, yes, lots of times. We have messaged lots of people. And because we message people every day, right? Okay. Any question? No questions. Any question? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Vaya pues. Let's go back to here. Okay. Let's go back to the presentation. Move it. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to talk about reduced adverb clauses. Uh, remember, today is the review class, and that's why we are giving a review to all the grammar points of the unit, right? Okay. Look at the example. In this case, what you're going to do is combine the two sentences into one. Combine the two sentences into one sentence, choosing the correct reduced adverb clause. You have, I was playing tennis. Later, I call my mother. After playing tennis, 
I called my mother. Yes. Let's do number one together. They played basketball for two hours. Later, they went home. Which option best completes the sentence for the reader? Uh -huh. Letter? A. A. Mm -hmm. Exactly. After playing basketball for two hours, they went home. Let's do number two. I was reading your essay. I noticed a lot of mistakes. What's the best option here? Mm -hmm. While reading your essay, I noticed a lot of mistakes. Exactly. While reading your essay, I noticed a lot of mistakes. Okay. So we use while. What does it mean while? What does it mean while? That happen things in while things are happening. <laughs> At the same time. At the same time. At the same time. Uh -huh, exactly. One thing was happening when the other one too, right? So the two things were happening at the same time. Then we use while, okay? What about number three? I didn't want to move, not to miss my flight. I set my alarm for 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to miss my flight. I set my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Which will be the best option to complete the sentence? Again, the same while not waiting to miss my flight. Mm, the meaning is different. Remember, while means two things happening at the same time, right? Letter, Letter A. C. Letter? Did you see? A. A, B, C, D, A, G. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which one? I think it's the letter C. Before no. I set my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Hmm. Not waiting to miss my flight, I set my alarm clock for mm -hmm. 6 a.m. Yes, not wanting. Allí, no subject, no auxiliary, no verb, nothing, right? Not wanting to miss my flight. I set my alarm clock, my alarm clock for 6 a.m. Nos vamos por la primera, not wanting. Sí. Vaya, let's see number four. Should. Juju. Mm -hmm. You came here. Before that, you were sad. Before coming here, you Before were sad. Here. sad. Before coming here, you were sad. Yes. And number five, I was waiting for the bus. Sad. Waiting for the bus, I saw a cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Waiting for the bus, I saw a cat. Bye. The next ones, you have number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. The other five and the following, oops, 
And the following, where you're going to rewrite the sentences using the reduced time clauses, uh, you will work them together as a group. So I'm going to send you to the group. Están en el mismo documento que les mandé al principio. Okay? Now you can pass to that part. Reduce adverb clauses. We already did one, two, three, four, five. Then you go for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the other sentences where you have to reduce to. Questions? No question. Could you repeat again, please? Go over the rest of the exercises. Yeah? Okay. Pacha. Vamos pues. Los voy a dejar con el mismo grupo con el que estaban para que terminen. Porque ahí estaban ya juntitos. Vaya, let's go. Who's new? Oh, Diego, hello. Ok. A ver, try to join. Nice. Try to join uh, Grace. Agila Mobi. Check, check. Ivo Marcela. Ana Grisel, try to join. Hi, Nubia. No sé si Grace Michelle está conectada. Sí. Okay. Sí, está conectada ella, Carla y yo. Ok, perfecto. Pero, pero está conectada, pero estará activa. Grace. Y... Sí, ahorita acabo de llegar a mi casa, teacher. Por eso, eso no había, me había unido. Va, ok. Voy a hacer aquí. The document, Grace, is the same that we were working in the previous exercise, right? You have there the second part of the exercises. Okay, so lo voy a guardar la moto, teacher. Ya, ahorita. Pacha, pacha. From work. She noticed that the front door was open. Okay, last seven. She was returning from work. She got stuck in traffic. She returned from work. She noticed that the front door was open. While returning from work? I think it's letter B. Upon returning from work, she noticed that the front door was open. What do you think? Let it be. Yes. Upon returning from work. Seven. She was returning from work. She got stuck in traffic. While while returning from work, she got stuck in traffic. Yes? Yes. Okay. I moved here. I met many great people after I moved here. Since moving here, I have met many great people. 
I letter think it's B. letter B. Letter B. Okay, I agree. Since moving here. He's a perfectionist. He notices all the flaws. Being a perfectionist. Letter B. Mm -hmm. Or letter C. Um, hmm. Letter C. Letter C. Being a perfectionist. I don't know because it's, this is a bird B. What we do in this in this case, teacher? Mm -hmm. Number ten. He finished. Number, no, number nine. Number nine. It's okay. Being a receptionist. Uh, notice all the flaws. Sí, bien. Mm -hmm. Así está bien. Oh. Why we don't eliminate it if it is a, a verb B? No puede poner solo a receptionist. Porque no tendría lógica la oración. Mm -hmm. Y no puede decir tampoco while being a receptionist. En algunos casos, eh, recuerde que como el verbo se cambia a, a, a ING, se puede también hacer ese, ese cambio, de, de cambiar el verbo to be que está en presente a ponerlo en, en gerund. Then you say being a receptionist. Ok. Uh -huh. Then he finished his homework. Then he started to play video games. He started to play video games. Uh, after finishing. Mm -hmm. After finishing. Solo esa parte, verdad, teacher? No, this one too. Here, what you have to do, in this case, you have to rewrite the sentence using the, the correct reduce adverb clause. Ya la, la primera parte era así como lo más fácil, ¿verdad? Ya hoy ustedes ya saben qué hacer. Hey, ok. okay. <laughs> And look at the example. Do you like to read while you are waiting for people? Do you like to read while you omit the subject and you omit the verb to be? Okay, cheque una, una cosa, este, eh, Adriana. En la oración anterior, si se fija, eh, no hay otro verbo. ¿Verdad? Y si dejamos solo el noun, no tendría lógica la oración, la número nueve. Por eso es que en ese caso se cambia el verbo to be a ing, porque el verbo, verbo de la oración es ese, no es auxiliar en ese caso, sino que ah. verbo. Ah, cuando, ok. Ajá, cuando el verbo to be está actuando como auxiliar, por ejemplo, en el present continuous, si está uh -huh. actuando como auxiliar, entonces se elimina el subject y se elimina el verbo to be y se deja solo el otro verbo en ing. Pero... Si eh, no hay otro verbo, no que el verbo es el to be, entonces sucede ese cambio que usted ve ahí en la number nine. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you like to read while you are waiting for people. So you like to escuchar escuchando Mm -hmm. Tom doesn't like listening to music when he's start studying. Mm -hmm. 
Doing it But I am not sure. In which one you are not sure? What? In which one you are not sure? Uh, number one. I'm not sure. Uh, Tom doesn't like to listen to music when he is studying. Esa está fácil. I think que pasa. Tom, uh -huh. Tom doesn't like listening to music when he is studying. Oigame, Karen, ¿cómo se llama la estructura? The subject. No, ¿cómo se llama la estructura que está trabajando ahorita? No sé a qué se refiere. No la estructura que está trabajando, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, adverbios causales. Mm -mm. Reduce advert time clauses. ¿Qué va a reducir la, la advert clause? No me va a reducir la independent clause, sino que la advert clause. Recuerde lo que le decía ayer. Que primero, ¿cuál es la advert clause? Esta es la que va a reducir. ¿Cuál es su advert clause ahí en esa oración? Ah, ah when he is studying. Exacto. exacto, desde allí, when he is studying. Entonces, ¿cuál es la que tiene que reducir? When he is studying. Well, exactly, desde allí, desde when he is studying. Lo primero que hace es ubicar primero la adverb clause, porque no se va a poner a, a reducir la primera cosa que ve. Lo que estamos es, esta es una, es una estructura donde usted está reduciendo adverb clause. No, no, no la independent clause. Esta no se puede reducir, oye. De primero ubica la adverb clause y ya después ya sigue las reglas que conoce. Sí, sí, me había confundido. Um, so, teacher, uh, y se quedaría... Acuérdese que la adverb clause no siempre la va a encontrar al principio. Sí, Algunas sí. veces va a estar en la segunda parte de la oración. Por ejemplo, en vaya. Caso, ¿qué? Y en la 1, en la 2 y en la 5 está en la segunda parte, en la segunda parte, no está en el principio, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que usted siempre tiene que hacer es ubicar la adverb clause para saber qué es lo que va a reducir. Ok. En la 1, teacher, desaparece el he is, ¿verdad? Exactly. Exactly. Y Pero queda lo... when starting. When starting, exactly. Me lo voy okay. llevando ya casi. Oye. Ya son las 10. Okay, vamos a ver how many people are missing. Hmm. Bye, almost a bit, I guess. Yeah, okay, we're all here. She returned from work. She noticed that the front door was open. Which is the best option here? Mm -hmm. 
Hello. Letter B for returning from work. Letter C. Por qué letter C? Because. Because. Upon me, al. I think it's letter C because our Okay. Recuerden que no pasaron las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Para si usamos before es que una cosa pasó antes que la otra, ¿verdad? Si usamos while es que pasaron al mismo tiempo. Pero si pasaron, si usa upon, significa que justo una después de la otra. Por ejemplo, if you say upon returning from work, She noticed that the front door was open. ¿Cuándo se dio cuenta que la puerta estaba abierta? Inmediatamente que llegó. Entonces, por eso es que usamos upon. Recuerden que upon es lo que usamos para reemplazar a su nas. Y en esta oración, a pesar de que aquí no le están dando el adverb, ¿verdad? Su adverb es as soon. As soon as she returned from work, She noticed that the front door was open. Esa sería la, la advert clause complete. As soon as she returned from work, she noticed that the door, that the front door was open. Por eso que la cambiamos por upon. What about number seven? She was returning from work. She got stuck in traffic. Ajá. Uh -huh. Letter A. While exactly. returning from the work. Exactly. In this case, ah, in this case is while. While returning from work, she got stuck in traffic. Very good. Number eight, I moved here. I met many great people after I moved here. See? Letter, letter B. Mm -hmm. Let it be. Since I moved here, I moved. Here. I met. I have met great people. Okay, number nine. He's a perfectionist. He notices all the flaws. Letter C. Letter C. Being a perfectionist. And this one, perfectionist. Okay, number 10. He finished his homework, then he started to play video games. He started to play video games. Finishing his homework. Mm. Little A. Little A, exactly. He started to play video games after finishing his homework. But the other five were reducing, you have to make the whole thing, right? Tom doesn't like to listen to music when he's studying. How do you reduce that sentence? Yes. Tom doesn't like to listen to music when he's studying. Hello? How do you reduce it? No, teacher. Don't finish. Tom doesn't like to listen to music when he's studying. When you're studying, you eliminate the subject and you eliminate the verb to be. Number two, Marianne went to the theater after he had finished her work. She had eliminated. Aha, uh -huh, eliminate she had. Then finishing after finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that one, you 
eliminate subject, you eliminate auxiliary, and change the verb to ing, right, after finishing. When the doctor operated on Jim's mom, he found she was okay. Hmm? I don't know. Eliminate the subject. You eliminate Oper the subject and then you change operated, operated to operating. And then you say when operating on Jim's mom, he found the doctor, the doctor, found, para saber quién es que está hablando. Doctor found, was okay. Number four, before you go to the party, please help me clean the kitchen. Four, you go. You go. ¿Y qué omitimos, Stephanie? The subject. Um, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Which is the subject? Which is the subject? Is it not the same subject? Before you go to the party, please help me. En la segunda, cuando usamos, este es un imperativo. Sí, es un imperativo. Y los imperativos son siempre así. You stand up, go out, sit down, bring me, give me, sit, uh, clean. El, el, el subject es you, pero está implícito. ¿Sí? Entonces, como que dijera, before you go to the party, please, you, help me clean the kitchen. Entonces, sí, el subject es el mismo. Ah, okay. Pero la segunda es un imperativo. ¿Mm? ¿Cómo lo reducimos? Before... El you go. ¿Qué tenemos que omitir? Help me. Uh, Recuerden, ubíquense aquí la subraya para, para que vean que es el mismo subject. Pero lo que ustedes están reduciendo es la eh, adverb clause. Tienen que quedarle bien claro. Están el adverb clause. Porque la estructura se llama Reduce Advert Clause. No es Reduce Independent Clause. Reduce Advert Clause. ¿Y cuál es la Advert Clause? La que empieza con el Advert. En algunos casos va a estar en la segunda parte. Por ejemplo, aquí. En esta, en esta after he had finished. Espérenme que escucho interferencia. Sorry, les caigo a todos porque no sé quién es. Bye. <coughs> so, we have. Primero identificamos el adverbio. Recuerden, todo lo que sigue desde donde está el adverbio hasta el final de la oración, todo eso es su adverb clause. ¿Sí? ¿Y qué vamos a reducir? El adverb clause, independientemente de si está al principio de la oración con el caso de when the doctor operated on Jim's mom, o aunque esté en la segunda parte, ¿verdad? Como when he's studying, after he had finished her work, eh, while they are playing. Entonces, usted tiene que ubicar el adverb of clause porque ese es el que va a reducir. Entonces, no es de irnos a reducir el primero que vemos, porque, por ejemplo, Tom doesn't like to listen to music, es un independent clause. ¿Sí? Pero la adverb clause es la segunda. ¿Sí? Entonces, ubíquense ahí cuál es la adverb clause. Es la que empieza con un adverb. Miren. Esta. ¿Cuál es mi adverb? When, after, when, before, while. Porque estamos hablando solamente de adverb clauses of time. Hay muchos más adverbios. Pero allá más adelante los vamos a ir viendo. Ahorita no les digo más adverbios porque nos vamos a hacer bolitas. 
¿verdad? Pero hay muchos más adverbios. Vaya, vamos a ver aquí. When you go to the party, recuerde, la regla es la misma que venimos hablando de antier. Usted elimina el subject y el verbo lo pone en ing. ¿Sí? Then you say, before going to the party, please help me clean the kitchen. Recuerden que la independent clause no le pasa nada, no la cambiamos. Aquí yo le cambié de doctor como para que nos quede así que muy claro quién era el que estaba operando, que es lógico que el doctor, ¿verdad? Pero para que quede así como más claro es que yo le puse el doctor, pero usted le puede dejar aquí, no hay problema. A ver, what about the last one? Do your kids like to run while they are playing? Eliminate they are. Exactly. Exactly. So we eliminate, eliminate the subject and eliminate the verb. And then you say, do your kids like to run while playing? Yes or no. ¿Verdad? Okay. That's it. Vámonos. <laughs> Let's go. Vamos a ver present. Tell me present. Eh, Adriana, Sofía. Present. Alicia. Present. Ana Grisel. Se nos perdió. Present teacher. Okay. David. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda. Elda. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Thank you, Chill. Yvonne, Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present yes. teacher, present. Jessica Lisette. Ya, que es cierto. No, perdón. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen and Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luceta Yanara. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Present. Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Mm. José Alfredo. Stephanie. Karen Stephanie, hello. Teacher, I say present. No le oí. <laughs> Hoy sí, ya estamos muy bien. Eh, ¿Quién se queda? Espérenme que se me olvidó. Ya no me roqué. Bueno, bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye, teacher. Have a nice vacation. Bye. Bye. Have a nice vacation. Bye. 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 Enjoy so much. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good bye night. Bye. 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 Have a nice vacation. Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame. ¿Hasta dónde va a revisar la tarea hoy? Toda la unidad 1, hasta el 1.9. Ah, va. El midterm todavía no, ¿verdad? ¿El qué? El, el no. mid. No, para ese va a ser hasta la clase 15. Ya estaba afligido. Con la cinco. No, estamos tranquilos ahorita hasta la, hasta la 1.9, solo la 1. Ah, pero no hay midterm, ¿verdad? ¿Mm? No hay midterm. No hay examen de medio curso. No le creo. ¿Cómo no? No, como no, pero. Ah, pues que fíjese que después de este, después del 1.9, si el 2.2 no es el medio. No, es que este no, es verdad. como el pasado. ¿Se acuerda el curso pasado? Ah, sí, sí. Que a la unidad 2 le dan dos semanas. Ajá, sí, sí. 
Entonces en la unidad 2 vamos con dos, videos, dos clases, una tarea más larga. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Y dos clases, ajá. una tarea. Entonces por eso es que allá en el, en el Beginners teníamos que solo estaban numeradas las tareas, pero aquí han numerado también los videos. Ok, listo. Sí. 1.9 nada más. Por eso es que, ajá, por eso es que se siente como que, ¿qué? 1.9, nueve tareas, no, solo son cinco, pero están numerados los videos todos. Ah, ok, listo, sí. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, después de la, de, la, de la clase 15, es que tienen que, para ese día, o sea que sería en dos semanas, bueno, tres semanas, ¿verdad? Cinco tres semanas, sí. Exacto. Correcto semana ya tendrían que estar terminada la unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. Ok, teacher, listo. Ahí está. Vaya, pues. <ríe> que pase feliz vacación, teacher. Thank you, you too, David. Chao. Ay, take care. Hi, hi, Diego. Hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> 